Hello guys, welcome to the Evening Games channel, to our Sword Soul deck profile of Bodo Engel and Martin Friedrich, who got uh, top 64 and top 32 respectively at the German Nationals today. So, you guys played Sword Soul, obviously. Yep. Any special th thoughts on the deck before you want to go get into the deck profile? Uh, we think that it's just like a very solid pick for the end, since it's uh, very consistent and good at going second. Since we have a tiny engine which can like help you with break with boards, same with Ecclesia. We have a lot of like we can play a lot of flex spots for the amount of total cards played. So pretty okay. solid choice, I think. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, then let's get right into the deck profile. Let's start okay. with the main deck. So we have 42 cards in the main deck. Um mm. starting with the standard stuff, triple Ecclesia, triple Moye. Triple Long, Double Tire, not really anything that needs to be explained here. Um, I think right. people have started to cut one Ecclesia or test out one Tire for a while. What do you think yeah, about that? Um, I think two Tire is needed with Pot of Desires. It's way too important, especially going second. Mm -hmm. um, also comes up if you play a slower game, if you like try to respect Nip and maybe have a nib on your own you usually want to add the tire because it's like the best card in turn three five and so on because it can give you immediate yazi access also miss your moe if you want to go baxia shuffle two into reborn okay. um triple Ecclesia, it's just like consistency and like one of the best cards going second it's also a tuner which can come up like sometimes you don't even tag out Okay. I think it's correct. Yeah. Okay. And going second, special summon Ecclesia and normal summon and one of the other guys is just pretty good. And they most often can't interact with you that well. Yeah. So, triple emergence, Veroda. Um, yeah. Standard, yeah. And that's kind of a sword soul package. The cards that do plays. Uh, to a tiny package, it's triple Ashana, triple Vishuda, triple Adara. So, like we maxed out on these. Um, like everyone plays like free and free on this card, I think. Um, the only thing is like the third Adara. It's just because of like consistency. It helps sometimes with playing around collector. If you can make like uh, if they collect a Yun Long and you can go with Adara into Yazi, Yazi pop the collector, get a Taya, and then you can like yeah play from there. Play from there. And then we decided to play Triple Vessel instead of Circle because it's way better going first, and it it ignores Token Collector as well, and you can go. Berserker versus Collector, or you can go Chaofeng against Nibiru. And we sided it out every single game, because going second, the spells are not that great, and anti-spell is in the format in every deck, I think. So yeah, we yep. played a better card going first. How, how do you usually decide whether to make Berserker to respect Collector, or to make um, the Chaofeng to respect Nip? And what do you usually do game one? Um, um, usually, if you, I, I usually went for the line that was like, okay, if I saw a collector already, um, I probably just respect the collector. But it also depends on the matchup, because like versus some decks, the berserker is kind of bad. Versus some decks, Chaofeng does nothing. So you can also decide from there because most decks play Nip somewhere either in the main or in the side because it's just a really good card right now, especially versus Sword Soul. Not an uncommon pick at all. So either you saw one of these cards before in the game or you just decide based on the matchup you're playing so that if they don't have it, you still have like a good interruption. Yeah. I'd rather go for Chaofeng and uh, then Berserker, but I played, I think, round six against Flunder and I saw Collector game two, so I made Berserker game three and that worked out pretty well for me. Yeah. Yeah. Also, usually if you have a tiny plus Vessel, it's like the best start you can have. Yeah. And if you have Arshana plus Vessel, it's especially insane because you... Can okay, go you, triple synchro, right? Yeah, if you, yeah. if you have another Worm to discard, just like any Worm, 
It's already triple synchro because you mill uh, long off of this and add it back with Adara. Yeah. So that's go from there. really yeah, strong. It's pretty crazy, yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't play Circle. We didn't want to play Shatana. Don't want to draw it. Yeah. Theoretically, it's a mine out, yes. But even if you out mine with Circle, you lose your whole board. Yeah. Go play from there, I guess. Yeah. So <laughs> the, our thought was like, just if, they, if, if they mine out, <laughs> We just, after a few turns, we just link everything into a Shaman, set a card that we just drew and was like, yeah. I hope they think that I have Circle. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. But that worked out for me, like two games or so. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't miss Circle at all. Yeah, so they have to basically yeah. respect the yeah, Circle yeah. at that yeah, point. Otherwise you uh, can yeah. out it in there. Yeah, and at that point... Just it... OTK from there, so they yep. have yep. to respect it, yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah, last cards are just double desires, consistency, yeah, cards broken. Card by the grave. Um, also, yep. set one, so we play it. Yeah. And the one Trip. searchable interruption. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, our going second cards, of course. Um, triple Ash, Triple Valor, Triple Imperm, Triple Nip. Yeah. These nine are like good against everything in the format, like against the control decks like Flunder, they are good in the mirror, they are, can beat the punk decks sometimes. And we thought we play against, uh, uh, we play like many other, uh, many different matchups in Swiss. So these were like pretty good. And then we thought um, in Top Cut there will be a lot of combo like D-Link or Ferion or some sort of like, sword soul or base. So we decided to play Nibiru in the main deck. And it worked uh, yeah. pretty good. Like, even if you go first, usually this card could be a bit awkward because Sotzel does not have any inherent follow up. So, what you usually can do if you open Nip is you can make like a very small board with uh, Shishao and then get like Emergence. And then, if you have like Vela Nip or like you yeah. can go for Trap Nip, it's usually enough to not die and then. Yeah. They usually have a card, you go Yazi and Yazi is game. Yeah, just mm -hmm. back the Shisho with like two hand traps and play turn three. Yeah. Then the extra deck is pretty standard, like we play double Shisho, then the Sinister guy, the Chen Ying. These all are pretty good, pretty solid. Baron is good, Berserker comes up sometimes. Mm. It's yeah, which of the rank, uh, which of the level tens do you make game one blind usually? Usually this one. It like, depends on the hand. Yeah, it if you have if you have enough interruptions or follow up, you can go, go Baron for safe play. But I most often go this. Yeah, um, especially game one since. Yeah, yeah. If if they, yeah, they have to main the nip, and as, like especially if you go versus like these sixty card punk decks. It's they have to that, main it yeah. and they have to draw it. Yeah, so it's not that likely and this card is so good against yeah. the Brave Engine it's in general really or good. against uh, Ethela. So you can banish the Zermin. Um, it's good yeah. versus the Adventure Package, it's yeah. good versus Flunderies. And against Mystic it's Mine. It's good and, versus yeah. Dragons. Yeah. yeah, pretty solid card. Also, um, 2400 burn in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't come up for me, but yeah. Once for me. Um, then for the young things, we play the one Yazi double bucks. Yeah, this card is pretty, pretty fucking good. You made it every single game, I think. Every single game, basically. Um, then we play Chaufing. I think this is standard as well. You can cover Nibiru or like ABC or Triton is also kind of in the yeah. meta. Or the mirror match is also kind of nice because they can't Ashuna Ecclesia or Synchro Summon into. Shishou. Or Shishou. Yeah, all the good going second tools are yeah, gone. Yeah. And like in Fury, if you play versus Despia, you can go for a combo in which you like yeah, Baxia away with Sh uh, Chao Feng and you like, just add the Ash, which is yeah, like yeah. the most, the best interruption that you can have versus Despia because one of the problems with this deck is that it does not interact well with Branded Fusion at all. So yeah, that's kind of the best line you can take versus Despia, even though it didn't come up really. Yeah, comes up in testing, but yeah. not in the tournament for me. Did you Same. did you two face any Despia in this tournament? Uh, one, yeah, one Despia for me, but uh, he went for Dragoon, so it was like a bit of a different version. So 
Yeah, I faced. I, yeah, like, accordingly. I faced two Despiers in Swiss, I think, and yeah, just ten trapped them and went from there. Was okay, so they didn't really easy. end on yeah, anything. Yeah, didn't come up at all. Yeah. No. Okay. Not this time. Um, then for the last cards we played Triple Monk. Um, the third one comes up for me like two times, I think, in the tournament. Yeah. It's not absolutely necessary, yeah. but it's nice to it's have. It's nice to have, yeah. And then we play Charmin. Card doesn't come up for me game, uh, day one, but in top card that was really good and necessary for me. Yeah. yeah. It's just a good card overall and comes up in niche scenarios. Mm -hmm. Charmin was like really, really good for me because like you can, I used it once to like for something where I had like a lot of tennies, so I made Shaman and Monk under it and Battle Phase could force a blackout, uh, which I had to play around. And it also like enables your second quote unquote normal sum because if you like mo normal the Moe at the start, you can then later if you like mill, uh, mill the tire somehow or the vessel, or you can just discard the tire, just discard the tire, yeah, rebound yeah. the tire. It's just like another normal sum that can resolve yeah. and, and it's like the only play through the barrier so it's also yeah also pressures the niche. game quite often like in a grind game kind of scenario where you have like yeah. even a synchro yeah you can game, like bring revive this a big and, one yeah. so much damage yeah pretty yeah good. that's true did you guys oh there's yeah. one more okay go oh, ahead yeah one more that's right now i mean we played it in the main deck so i think we have to play this yeah i summoned it like once or twice don't think so card was okay i think yeah it's, if you play it i think you okay. have to play it yeah okay so explain how this helps you play with your own nibiru on board um like you have nibiru on the field obviously and then you have like any normal summon um, especially because you can't use the tennis yeah, like, yeah for example so, if you have like an Ardara, you can yeah you know vishuda and vessel and uh ashuna are dead so you go normal summon like any hand trap or tenny or moya or something and then you will link into Lina, then you crush into the Nibiru token, which has to be an attack, obviously. And Lina adds Ecclesia, special Ecclesia, and main phase 2, and go from there. Yep. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Also, in the mirror, you can uh, steal their Ecclesia. Yeah, which is. Doesn't come up, but. It doesn't come up. <laughs> it's good to know, I think. Good to yeah. know. It's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Uh, is there any monsters in the extra deck that you missed? Because I know there's quite a few options for Soul Soul. We've seen cards like Drag Eyed, Ruddy Rose in yeah. the past in the extra deck. Um, yeah, I, I missed Drag Eyed once. It would have been game. Didn't yeah. matter that much since it was last round of Swiss. But yeah, it's it's. I don't think I would change anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think if you play it, you have to play Lina. Yeah. Drag Guide is decent, but didn't come up. It's very niche. Yeah, it's very niche, and I think if you can make Crimson Blader and go Battle Phase and activate this effect, you're already winning. Yeah. So that's not necessary. And like Ruddy Rose. Doesn't yeah, PK and the other. It's not a card. Yeah, it's not it's, a card. It's not in the metal right now. Okay. So, so you don't have to play it. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, get pretty to the standard. Deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in the side deck, we played 12 hand traps in the main deck, so we looked for uh, another free off yeah. that can handle all matchups in the yeah, meta and pretty well. Impact. And, uh, yeah, it has to be a lot of impact, and that was Gamma for us. Yeah, was pretty much the only one that checks all boxes. Yeah, genau, checks Tritron, checks Mirror Match, checks Combo decks in general, or even Flunder. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, card was pretty good for me. Um, Nothing I can say about it. Yeah, it was it was like the most used card in my side deck. Yeah, it's, yeah, like every it was just every really game good. Two. Yeah, I bought this in. Yeah. How many how many drivers did you draw this tournament? Or did you ever reserve Gamma on your own turn? <laughs> don't ask about um, it. <laughs> I drew like Gamma twice or three times. I don't know. And drew driver I think once. Yeah. Three drivers for me. Oh. And I think Crazy. three Gammas as well. So fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Rough, rough. Did you ever resolve Gamma on your own turn? It's pretty hard in Swords, no, right? Yeah, I don't think so. It's basically Comes up impossible. in testing with desires and then you can like add. Not often. I think in round one my opponent shifters me and then I Gamma him and he ashed that Gamma. Then I go okay. Emergence for Moya and then he trolled me and then I Gamma him and that was game. Yeah. Wherever he would draw that. But yeah, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> I don't know, but usually it doesn't come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, then we played some anti backdoor cards, double twin, and reboot. Reboot is good. Yeah, I mean, Edge and Flander are in the meta. This one is better than Lightning Storm against yeah. Flander. 
This also comes up. Yeah, this in the Sword Soul. Oh, in the Mirror Ledger, genau. The Barrier Anti-Spell Shift. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. was okay. And then we decided to play Triple Anti-Magic Arrows. Um, for Despia, so we can stop their D-Barriers and the Branded and Red and yeah. just go main phase 2, like summon a Tenji, bait the Mirror Jade and then combo from there. And yeah. like Gobaxia shuffle all his cards and build a board. So... And it was uh, like three other copies of Red Reboot versus like Eidlich, Altergeist or some yeah, other Yeah, or the Backrow decks. Yes, Mm -hmm. That really comes up for me. I played like last round of Swiss, I played against Mystic Mine Altergeist and Game 3. I like Anti Magic arrowed him, then go like Baxia and Baronas and win from there. It was pretty insane. Pretty nice. So, what's what's the problem with this card? So, the because... problem is this card is if people know about it, it's dog yeah. shit. Because you try to go battle phase, end of main, they debarrier yeah, yeah. you, they, they flip the only one, they flip whatever, it's, it's yeah. terrible. But I've, like, in the last few events, no one really played it. And it checked, like, a Despia side in and a back row side in at the same time. So, yeah, yeah. I, th I think it was a good call. Yeah, worked out pretty good for me. And then uh, last cards we played was triple anti-spell. I mean... Cards pretty good right now, like you said, that yeah. against almost every matchup going first. And then we decided to play double rivalry. And no D barrier. Um, D barrier is good in the mirror match and good against Despia. But we thought that many players are playing the punk deck yeah. or some <clears throat> combo brave stuff. And like this one is. Instant win. It's it's like instant win against punks, yeah. it's instant win against um, Brave. Mm -hmm. uh, even if they Nibiru you, Token Collector you, or Hand Trap you, it still wins you the game. Yeah. Yeah. It won me two matches, like in Swiss was pretty good. d -Berry just doesn't do that. Yeah. So. yeah. so we just decided for the Mirror, uh, since we don't have d -Berries anymore, we just go second, which is like not an uncommon option at all. Yeah, especially put in, uh, if put you in have the Gamma and, and Nibiru's, like Nibiru already in the main, you're pretty solid in the mirror. Yeah. That's true, your main deck is already pretty good for the mirror. Yeah. Okay, so any additional thoughts on the tournament? How was the experience overall? Um, very enjoyable tournament. Uh, would not change a single card from the deck. Yeah, every, uh, every card comes up at least once for me. Really liked it. Yeah. Okay. Um, any shout outs? Yeah, shout outs to uh, the my team. friends, my team yeah. that supported me. Obviously. Like, that traveled with us. Yeah. Uh, the guys from Locals and Dennis Saga. Sure. <laughs> shout out to Dennis Saga. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was our top 64 and top 32 Swords for Deck profile from German Nationals. I uh, hope to see you guys again on the Eman Games YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.